So, in an effort to be down with the kids, I upload pretty regularly over on TikTok. Link in the description, by the way. And one of the series that I have going on over there is video game details that will impress your friends. Someone even uploaded a video of themselves showing one of those TikToks to a group of pals. Hey, did you guys know that in Bayonetta you can... Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry. Well, with the future of TikTok being in the news right now, I thought why not upload some of these details here too. The main aim of this video is of course to impress your friends, but if you're like me and have a small circle of acquaintances, it's okay to show your mum or whatever. Oh, and regular viewers of this channel will have seen a lot of these details before, but that doesn't stop them being some of the coolest details video games have to offer. Oh, and before we get started, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Marvel Rivals. Marvel Rivals is a PvP team-based Based action shooter. And when you have the roster of characters that Marvel has, you can get an idea of how crazy this could be. Now, a big part of the Marvel Universe is the way that the various characters interact and complement each other's abilities. And Marvel Rivals knows that too. Marvel Rivals lets you use team up abilities that can sync up each superhero's unique powers, swinging the momentum of battle in your favour in the blink of an eye. Given that Marvel Rivals is an officially licensed Marvel IP, each character and map have a unique background story and each corner of their destructible environments is filled with details inspired by over 85 years of Marvel history, offering a level of richness that you just don't get with other hero shooters. Now, before you get too excited, the game isn't out yet. However, the alpha version is your golden ticket to early action. With an impressive selection of over a dozen characters and two maps available for alpha, Marvel Rivals is setting a new standard for what early access can offer. To try the alpha for yourself and play as some of comic book's most iconic characters, click my link in the description or in my pinned comment. Honestly, I'm super excited to see how this game turns out. Thanks again to Marvel Rivals for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link in the description for all the details on the upcoming alpha. And without further delay, let's get started. So the first game to wow us with a really cool detail might be a surprise to some of you. On the surface of things, Amazing Frog is what some would call a meme game. A game that isn't known for its amazing, pun intended gameplay, but is weird enough to attract an audience. Now, the world of Amazing Frog can be a confusing one, and that's why you're equipped with a phone that provides helpful hints and information. It's also home to a really cool detail. As you can see, our frog's phone currently has full signal. However, if we head into the sewers, our frog's phone will now have no signal at all. I mean, for a game that looks and plays like Amazing Frog does, the fact that someone, somewhere, made sure the mobile phone's signal strength was accurate is extremely impressive. So when playing Bayonetta, you're never left wanting when it comes to things to shoot. The game is eager to throw enemy after enemy at you and then leave you to figure out the rest. However, when you do finally get some downtime, try shooting at a wall without aiming. Trust me, it's worth it. So shooting without aiming will cause Bayonetta to either draw the letter B or a love heart with bullets which is really cool. Now, one of the best things about the Hitman series is that it forces you to improvise. You might have a plan laid out and ready to go until suddenly it isn't, and you need to act quickly before the whole mission goes up in smoke. Luckily for 47, there is no shortage of makeshift weapons that the bald assassin can grab in a pinch. And one of those weapons is the fire extinguisher. Reading the description of the extinguisher, it says that it can be used to knock down large obstacles. So let's put that to the test. Okay, so one large obstacle removed. But what makes the extinguisher so cool is that if you now inspect it, after removing the large obstacle, it will have a big dent in the side and be covered in blood. Perhaps show this one to friends who like violence. So Sleeping Dogs is many people's pick for the most underappreciated game ever. The 2012 action-adventure game released without much fanfare. But as time has gone on, more and more people have realised just how good the game is. A big part of why the game is so loved is its impressive depiction of Hong Kong. And that's sort of what this next detail is about. When a car takes enough damage in Sleeping Dogs, it will start to produce black smoke from the engine, which admittedly is something that a lot of other similar games do. Well, what makes the smoke in Sleeping Dogs so special is that when people pass by your broken down car, they will do this. 
So random passers-by will cough at the smoke pouring out of the car. Okay, granted, they could just move away from the smoke, but it's still a really cool detail. So there are two different types of people in this world. Those that learn from doing and those that learn from watching. Unfortunately, this can be pretty hard to demonstrate in a video game. But 2006's Bethesda RPG Oblivion somehow pulls it off. Outside of the arena, you can find people sparring in preparation for battle. And if you watch a pair of fighters long enough, this will happen. So watching the arena hopeful spar can cause your own hand-to-hand -hand skill to increase by 5 points. Hands up if you wish things were this easy in real life. Now if I was to ask any Call of Duty fan when the golden age of Call of Duty was, I'm guessing many of them would point to the early 2010s. In the space of 4 years we had Modern Warfare 2 and 3 and Black Ops 1 and 2 which is crazy. What was so great about those games is that not only was the multiplayer super addictive, but they also came with fully fledged campaigns. Okay, so the campaigns weren't the longest, but they were still entertaining and fun to blast through in a couple of evenings. Well, during the Karma mission in Black Ops 2, you have to infiltrate a high-end exotic island getaway that is kitted out with the latest security. And it's not just the security, that is high tech. If you approach any of the advertisements in the area, this will happen. Whether it's clothes, food, or accessories, you can find them all in the mall. What are you waiting for? Whether it's clothes, food, or accessories, you can find them all in the mall. Hey, quit eyeballing the chicks. We gotta get our asses in gear. Let's move. So the person in the ad's face will be replaced with the face of your character. The thing is, I can actually see this happening in real life. Now, gambling is never a smart move for those looking to make money. I mean, sure, some of you will have a story of a friend who won big that one time, but that same person won't tell you about the hundreds of losses they had before that. The thing is, Gambling is a smart move in Fallout New Vegas. When creating your character, you can choose to make them one lucky SOB, which in normal gameplay terms means more critical hits. It also means that when you visit any of the game's casinos, you can gamble safe in the knowledge that your luck rating will see you almost never lose a hand. Now, the saying, the house always wins, is true. And if you start to prove that saying wrong by repeatedly winning, you will be offered a complimentary gift so that you stay long enough for the casino to win their money back. You keep on spending money in here. You got to give us a chance to win something back. Here's something nice for you. If you continue to win after that, then this will happen. Okay, that's that. No more games for you. Go rob the tops. You're done here. Have some drinks, talk to some dancers, but you are done at my tables. So you will be banned from the casino and forced to leave. But at least you leave a whole lot richer. Now, truth be told, this entire video could be made up of details from the various Metal Gear Solid games. But the detail that I've chosen blew my mind when I was a kid. During the tanker chapter of Metal Gear Solid 2, you begin outside in the pouring rain. If you wait in the rain for too long, Snake will catch a cold, which will cause him to sneeze. <laughs> Now, that is already pretty damn cool. But what takes this detail to the next level is what happens if you sneeze near an enemy. So catching a cold and sneezing can actually alert the guards, which in my opinion is genius. Now, have you ever watched a game trailer and thought, that looks cool, only to play the game and realise that it's nothing like the trailer? Well, that's not the case with Dying Light 2. Sort of. The game's cinematic trailer told the story of three different people, all doing their best to survive. 
And spoiler alert, it didn't end well for anybody. What's really cool is, the people from the trailer can actually be found in-game, with the two women found dead in a building and the man being found outside on the floor. Extra bonus points have to be awarded for including the scratched face of the male survivor, something that we saw happen in the trailer. So here's a detail to show any of your friends who love Marvel. In the Guardians of the Galaxy game, which is really good by the way, you will eventually find yourself on the planet of Nowhere. Nowhere is a strictly no combat zone, but it appears that nobody told Star-Lord. So pressing the fire button whilst on Nowhere will cause Star-Lord to whip out the most dangerous weapons in all of the galaxy, the finger guns. Now in most games, you play as an all-powerful hero who can take down entire armies on their own. Well in Disco Elysium, you play as a down-on-his-luck detective who is suffering from the world's worst hangover and who can't find his pants. Now much like New Vegas, when you begin Disco Elysium, you have to assign your character attribute points, and one of the categories is physique which determines how fit you are. Well, if you decide to put no points into physique or motorics, something as simple as reaching for your tie that is hanging from a ceiling fan could prove fatal. You reach out to grab the tie, but what's this? Diffuse, radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. You feel something in your chest, an unnatural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm, your jaw. Very, very bad. This is the end, bad. All you feel is pain and weakness. You have to surrender now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face, like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. So your character will have a heart attack, therefore ending the game. Of all the ways that I've died in video games, reaching for a tie hanging from a ceiling fan has to be the most embarrassing. Now, if you've played any of the more recent Mortal Kombat games, then you will know who Kenshi is. If you haven't, think of him as Marvel superhero Daredevil, but somehow more deadly. You see, Kenshi is blind but that doesn't stop him snapping necks and cashing checks when the time comes. In fact, some may argue that Kenshi's blindness is a positive. One of Sonya Blade's moves is called the Kiss of Death. This move sees Sonya blow a mysterious pink powder into the eyes of her opponents, temporarily stunning them. Well, as Kenshi has no eyes, the move doesn't affect him at all. <laughs> I must admit, I do love this detail. So the chances are that a lot of you won't have played this next game, or perhaps even heard of it. Stacking is a game based around the Russian Matryoshka dolls. You know, the dolls that start off big but get smaller each time you open one up? The main mechanic of the game is that you can assume control of pretty much anyone and use their position or uniform to get what you need done. Well, when on the cruise ship, you could assume control of an unlikely ally. So here is how the game looks when in control of pretty much anyone in the game. And here is how the game looks when in control of man's best friend. So when in control of the dog, the game's colourful visuals will take on a more washed out tone. This is because dogs see colours in more muted tones than humans do. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. I love making compilation videos like this one, as it reminds me why I started covering details in games in the first place. So even if there's bombs, I'm going to make more of them. Anyway, as always, thank you all for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.